Hello friends. In this IBM integration buff tutorial, we will learn about web service. We will in this tutorial, we will see how to expose a message flow as a web service to the third party. While doing this, we will learn about SOAP input, SOAP reply node, how to configure these nodes, how to use route to label and label node, and what is the application of SOAP extract node. We will develop a message flow and that message flow we will expose as a web service. While testing this service, we will use SOAP UI tool. Okay, so let's create one application. This application will have a message flow and that message flow we will, we will expose as a web service. Okay, in this web service, uh, we will get a request from the third party and it will be an order request which will have the uh, person name, address and order detail and message broker will give a response which will tell whether order is available or not. So we will create an application named as order fulfillment application. Let's have a message flow named as order fulfillment message flow. And this message flow we are going to expose as a web service. We know uh, any message flow if we want to expose as a web service we need one SOAP input node and SOAP reply node. Okay. And since we are going to expose as a web service we need a WSDL file. So let's import a WSDL file. For importing a WSDL file we need to create a message model, message model project. Okay, select SOAP XML. Next, I already have a WSDL for, for my data. Since we are going to use web service, so I have selected SOAP. Okay, and now let's see what this request XML is look like. So for that, we will create one SOAP project. And we will browse that digital file. Okay, so this is the input request and now this is the input request which will be coming to, to IBM integration bus and we will form a response. Okay, so let's configure the nodes. Here in this flow, what we are going to do, we will get a request through SOAP input node and then we will use route to, to label and label node. Let's see how to use these nodes. Routing, route to label and label node. And always remember route to label and label node are always used together. Okay, so output of the SOAP input will be connected to the route to label node. And the SOAP input node we have in advance we have set definition left. If this property is checked, then what happens? Whatever the in, in input request, whatever is the name of the operation, that name of the operation sets as the label in the route to label node. So let's see what is the name of the operation. Here the name of the operation is submit PO. So I am giving 
this name of the operation over here. It means if any request which will be received via SOAP input node, if it has the op label name as submit PO or operation name as submit PO, this label node will receive the request. And let's configure SOAP input node. For that, we need to browse the Vistal file, order service.vistal. Okay. And now I need to form a response. So for that, I am going to use SOAP, SOAP extract node. Okay, along with one compute node and SOAP reply node. What SOAP extract node will do? It will it will extract the SOAP envelope and remaining message will be in the form of XML. The only body of the message will be remaining. Okay, so now in the compute node, we will be forming the output output SOAP message which will be delivered by SOAP reply node. So set output rule. Let's have the order amount as a 50,000. Order status as a available. and part number we are getting from the input message so input root dot xml nsc dot submit po request dot part number same way part quantity we will be getting from the input root okay so now in the output message I will be getting order amount as a 50,000 order status as a available and part number and part quantity will be the same value what the values are getting from the request. So if you will see our message flow we are getting the message into the SOAP input node through web service and with the help of route to label node we are routing the message through the label and after that we are using the SOAP extract node which will remove the envelope and then after that the same message will be transfer to the compute node. In the compute node, we are providing the output route. We are creating an output route and same message will be replied back to the SOAP reply node. So let's test this uh, flow. My flow is completed. So let's deploy this. Okay, so how to create a SOAP project? For creating a SOAP project, I need a URL. So I will create a URL HTTP localhost 7800. If I want to see this Vistal file, I need to enable this, enable support for Vistal. And again, I need to deploy this flow. Okay, so let's see. 
whether the fifth leaf up or not okay so the fifth leaf up so now let's create a new for project for project this will url now let's test it i gave the part number as 12 part quantity is 56 first name as a tom last name as a taylor the street is a 12th street city is a New York cheap code is one one two three five six. Let's test it. So we are getting this response back. Order amount if is fifty thousand. Order status is available and part number and part quantity are the same values what we are sending from the request and that and that is the output I should be getting it because same output we are setting it in the compute node over here okay so now it will be clear how to expose a message flow as a web service with the help of soap input and soap reply node okay now what will we will do we will not use soap extract node okay and we will try to see without using the soap extract node how to expose this particular flow as a web service okay i will connect to label to compute node the only change which is required over here in the compute node since we are not using the soap soap extract node so if still the input message in the form of soap soap domain only so what i need to do i have to write it over here soap dot body that's it in place of xml nsc it will be soap message body now let's deploy this message flow So we will again test it. We'll create one more request. Let's have the order as 12. Part quantity is 44. First name as Henry. Last name is Ford. Street is 10th. City is Hamilton and chip code is five six seven four five six. Let's call this. So again, I am getting the same response. This is the hard coded value, order amount and order status, which is coming from the message flow, and part number and part quantities are the values which are sent by this request. So in this way, we can expose any message flow as a web service. So this is the provider when IBM integration bus works as a web service provider. So in the next tutorial, we will see how to consume a message flow which is exposed as a web service. Okay. Okay, then thank you.